Hey, today I'm going to share with you the rulers and guides tools that are located in the Silhouette software. Um, you'll get to that feature by clicking on the page setup and then the grid right here. When you get to the grid, the top two options, the show grid and snap to grid, are available with all the design softwares available. Um, if you want to use the show grid, snap to grids, ruler, crosshairs, those are only available with the designer edition or higher. I have the show grid and snap to grid clicked on. I'm going to zoom in a little and show you up close what that means when it's snap to grid. As I move this square, it is snapping to each section of my grid, each square, each unit. If I wanted to place the side of this square right here in the middle of these two, I cannot do it when it is snap to grid. If I turn off snap to grid, then I have free movement of the square and I can position it, I can take a, my mouse and click and, and it, it will go anywhere on the screen that I want it. So snap to grid will lock it in place even regardless what your shape is, it will only allow it to snap to the grid. This can be very useful when you're designing images of your own in the Silhouette software. I'm going to turn off the show grid and snap to grid and I'm going to click on the ruler. This is something that I always have on when I create. It is a shaded area that covers the span of your mat. So I'm at 12 inches, 0 to 12 inches down and 0 to 12 inches across up here. If I click on an item, then within that ruler it gets even darker for the length or width of that particular item at the top and at the right. It will tell me where the placement is on my mat. So right now, if I were going to cut this green circle out of vinyl, I would lay a piece of vinyl four inches over and four and a quarter inches down on my mat and I know it would cut in that particular spot. If I click on Show Guides and Snap to Guides, now what I see is this ruler line can be brought down into my screen from the top. It can also be brought over from the side. And this is a great tool when you're designing your own images or when you are altering images that you have purchased online. If you're trying to line up images, I can take this shape and it will perfectly snap right into that square piece right there. I can take my blue and it will do the same thing. It'll snap to whatever line I click it at. Um, I can put it over on this side it's going to snap. I can snap it there, snap it there. I can line this one up, snap it here, snap it there. It is a great way to help you precisely place items when you are designing inside the software. Another neat thing that it can do for you is help you line something up perfectly fitted into a space. As soon as I see the the blue lines turn into a darker blue, I know that that square is perfectly positioned within that crosshair point. I can do the same thing with the circle. I can line it up until it's perfectly center inside that circle by using the guidelines that are I have drugged down on the page. Another nice thing you can do is you can add more guidelines. This can help if you're designing a lot of images on a page, if you're arranging them a certain way. They're very helpful tools that we tend to take for granted or don't even realize that they're there and can be used. The way to get rid of them is you highlight them, click your right mouse and hit delete and you would just continue to do this until they were all gone. So if you're like me and you accidentally sometimes get that line down on your page and you don't know what it is, it's a tool and it's very useful. Um, so spend some time getting to know the features of your page setup, especially your rulers and guides, and have fun creating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.